common resort here at the uh, Rogue compound. And uh, we're Rogue Disney, and this is obviously at home because Disney Springs was crazy. We had a nice lunch at Steakhouse 71. Believe it or not, this was a peanut butter cold brew, now a orange peanut butter cold brew with some uh, sun kiss. Tastes weird. But, I of course have some of the fall goodies. Gideon's two cookies a month, the Bride of Frankenstein and the Frankenstein, the 50th anniversary donut, and the pumpkin spice cake donut from Everglades. Um, I would have done these there, but man, was it crazy. And I hope the glare isn't too bad out here. Uh, I have no inside of a house right now. So I don't know if all of you know home remodeling. So this is my furniture for right now. But uh, let's start with the one that's already broken in half, the pumpkin spice cake donut from Everglazed. Uh, not too sweet. I think the flavor is balanced is perfect, actually. Sometimes pumpkin spice is more cardamom or cinnamon. This is a very good balanced flavor. And really nice, especially since I had the pumpkin chai from uh, Gideon's earlier, and that was a little bit too sweet. This is very subtle in the pumpkin. It's like a nice, even keel note. Let's break in half one of these, uh, the Miss Frankenstein, Brighter Frankenstein. So we got M&M's, white chocolate, and golden graham, uh, golden Oreo crumb on the outside. I'm gonna break that in half one more time. Because I'm only gonna have a quarter of it right now, because I also have a donut and another cookie to eat. So let's see how the Bride of Frankenstein is. The Oreo crumb on the outside sort of denotes the cookies and cream cookie or the coffee cake cookie. The white chocolate and the M&M milk chocolate sort of hit together. It both that salty, salty sweet chocolate note. A very good balanced cookie though. Um, so now for the Frankenstein, again, let's uh, break that apart, and one more break, so I just want to do a quarter at a time, and a bigger quarter this time. So I can see this is a regular chocolate chip cookie filling on the inside, with the um, Oreo dust around the outside, um, regular Oreos this time. So let's see how Frankenstein is. Hmm. I think I have the same problem I have with the peanut butter and the regular chocolate chip. The textural differences aren't enough. My favorite cookie is the pistachio toffee crunch. You have the pistachio nuts in there, which gives you a nice balance of textures. This is all one textural note. I'm not bad as a textural note, but it is all one textural note. Um,
that being said, they're both sweet. They both taste, taste very good. I'm not saying a bad thing about a Gideon's cookie. I'm just saying that there are better ones. That's all the sort. Also, peanut butter, orange, and chocolate is weird to go. Finally, we have the sweet 50 50th anniversary donut. I think this was a sticker. I'm going to take it off. I don't think that's food. That's okay. So we got some candy pearls on the outside with a vanilla frosting. And this thing is. This thing's hefty. I don't think I'm going to eat all of this right now. But let's take a bite. It looks like a plain glazed donut with a uh, vanilla frosting and a bunch of iridescent sprinkles with a vanilla frosting on top, almost like a buttercream. So, the donut is the same if you get the um, mounds or the uh, s'mores donut. It's that traditional, very airy, but dense glazed donut. Taste-wise, it's great. The sprinkles give a, give a good crunch. Some of them have chocolate on the inside, some of them are just sprinkles. Um, would I pick it again? Probably not. My favorite donut of theirs is the maple bacon. Because that's bacon. Um, but the donut itself is very good. The frosting is good. Um, Flavor-wise, it's a great donut and uh, a good snack altogether. Best part was I could hear it, eat it here at home with my pool behind me. You know, and so I guess that's a perfect living nearby. As for the crowds at Disney Springs, whoa! You had to walk all the way around the world of Disney to get in. I kind of gave up. Um, that being said, out of the fall and 50th celebration stuff, um, pumpkin spice donut was my favorite thing. It wasn't overly sweet. It was a good pumpkin flavor and nicely balanced. And I'm not a big fan of cakey donuts. I prefer the airier, like uh, uh, crispy clean, crispy clean style donuts. So, and it's also smaller than the other Everglades donuts, which would make you think it's less value, but it, it tastes great. That being said, I'm hot now. I'm gonna get out of this stuff. Talk to y'all later. This is Tom and Zork. Sorry for the situation, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. Tell me your favorite Gideon's cookie. Tell me if you've had a Gideon's cookie. What's your favorite Everglades? What ones are you looking forward to trying the most? And what ones would you like me to review in the future? I guess if my opinion matters. I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. Talk to you all later. Remember, don't be afraid to be the fool. Someone has to. And it's better to be a fool than be a grouch. No one wants to be a grouch. Right? No one wants to be a grouch.